welcome. CBS Foreign Investigator Brian Moss reporting the hackers have stolen data, impacted government operations, and are demanding massive ransoms to return what they stole. In Wheat Ridge, tech workers have been on it around the clock since the city was hacked August 29th. There were some significant impacts. Following the intrusion, the city took down its network systems. City email was offline, police records couldn't be immediately accessed by the public, and some online pay systems went down. City Hall was also shut down, but has reopened. Amanda Harrison speaks for Wheat Ridge City Government. Who is it who's holding you guys hostage? We are working with a sophisticated foreign agent whose location we are assuming is in either Eastern Europe or potentially Russia. An agent who is also pilfered from the city's network. They infiltrated our, our system, parts of it, and potentially took some of the city's data. They have requested ransom in the seven-figure range. Which Harrison says the city will not pay. The attackers used Black Cat ransomware, which was also used to hijack network systems in Fremont County on August 17th. In that case, Fremont County says personal information belonging to members of the public and some county employees has also been compromised. Everything was impacted, said County Emergency Manager Michael Kroll. The hackers created havoc with virtually every county system affected, said Kroll. The clerk and recorder's office lost data. The sheriff's office lost inmate data. And Kroll said, I hope we never have to go through this again. Back in Wheat Ridge, the city says it's taken a number of cyber steps to prevent this kind of attack from happening again. I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado First. Brian tells us the attackers wanted $5 million from Wheat Ridge. Fremont County also says it will not pay any ransom money.